Hello there, I'm Alec L. Chavis. Hi, I'm Josh. Hi, I'm Jen. Hi, I'm Ray Austin, and welcome to the Telescope Video. Salutations, my fine people. Today we are going to be picking which telescope is best for looking at the planets in our solar system. While choosing which telescope, some things we may want to consider are the type of telescope, the price, and the quality of the telescope. We don't want to look at distant galaxies. We just want to look at the planets. Therefore, it is best that we look for a refractor telescope. telescope we're going to talk about is Takahashi TSA-120. This telescope is very nice. It provides a very crisp picture of the planets. However, the Takahashi is very expensive for us. It's $12,000. It's not easy for beginners like us. The next telescope is the Orion Astroview 120ST. This is a good telescope with good images, but it is better suited for star clusters and the setting knobs are poorly made. It is not as expensive as the Tokuhashi, but still a little expensive at 500 US dollars. That's right. The Celestron 21061 Astromaster is our next possible choice. This telescope is only $120 and produces decent images of the planets. This telescope is okay, but since it's also meant for looking at things on Earth, it doesn't produce that good of an image. E2021-8 is the next telescope we'll be looking at. This telescope is only $90 and it comes with so much stuff. It provides a nice crisp image of the planets and it has slow motion knobs to account for Earth's rotation. It's everything we need and then some, and for a very fair price. Star Max telescope is another possibility. It costs $200 and this telescope produces very nice images for certain planets. It's a good all-around telescope as it can be used for planets and deep space objects. However, the mount is not very sturdy. We like sturdy mounts. We decided the two best telescopes are the new. 20,000, and the Celestron 20, These telescopes are the least expensive and they are most suitable for our objective. The Mead telescope gives us the most bang for our buck. It is the least, ex <laughs> least expensive but comes with the most stuff and it can do everything we need it to do. There are also some important accessories that are essential for having a good use of the telescope. One thing we'll need is a compass so we know what direction we're pointing and can set up a telescope properly. Another accessory we could get is the dew shield. It protects the lens from dew. Also, we would need a telescope eyepiece so we can change the magnification for each object and get the best picture. Another accessory we could get is the Mead hard case for the telescope because we like things meat hard. Also, we want to stow our telescope away safely. <laughs> also, a moon filter would be good to have. Yeah.
telescopes rule.